Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a nutritarian nutrition video, so I'm glad to be able to bring some new pictures and, and new ideas. So first we're going to kick this off with wheat germ. So wheat germ is, in my opinion, a completely overlooked and underrated item. Uh, it's, you can find it, uh, typically it's going to be in the cereal aisle where there's oatmeal and, and granola and, and, and those things, but wheat germ usually sits by the oat bran. And this amazing, simple um, byproduct, right, of, of a whole grain, it contains pretty much the most nutritious part of the whole grain, and it's a concentrated form of it. And it also is rich in spermidine, which is actually an autophagy inducer. It's a, it's a caloric restriction mimetic, and there's a lot of research that has really touted the benefits of spermidine. And also... It contains wheat albumin, which makes up about 34% of the protein. Wheat albumin has been shown to actually increase uh, fat oxidation, particularly uh, in the evening. There was a study that showed that it reduced the respiratory exchange ratio. Basically, what that means is your body shifts towards using more fat as fuel. Now, of course, this is one study, but nonetheless, um, just amazing. You have the autophagy angle, and then you have the fat loss um, the fat loss boosting protein fraction, wheat albumin of wheat germ. And then it's also a good source of betaine, which I talked about being a potential muscle building um, block. So in this next picture, we have super greens, high protein burger and sweet potato fries. This is basically Dr. Prager's super greens patty. It's got 10 grams of protein. And then I have another 10 grams of protein here with the Ezekiel flourless bun. And then we have a raw col collard green or I use fresh cilantro, e e either or. And then a red raw onion. And then black garlic. So black garlic's really fascinating. Um, I've really been eating, eating it quite a bit. I've gotten into it. And in this case, I'm using it as a spread. And it is a potently nutrient-dense spread. First, you know I'm a big fan of garlic. It's, it's my number one most viewed video. And there's a lot of research on it. And... Um, so black garlic's really unique because it has a savory umami taste. So it doesn't have that, that kind of like that really strong taste or odor actually of regular garlic. So um, I'm just a big fan of it. And this is a great way to kind of punch up the nutrition of a, of a, of a plant-based hamburger. Uh, then ketchup and mustard, of course. Uh, the sweet potato fries are really a nice addition. Um, and, and the other thing is what's interesting is the potato protein it's a plant protein source. Now, sweet potatoes in general don't have a lot of protein, or most potatoes for that matter. However, the protein they have, research has shown, actually has a, has a good bioavail bioavailability. So now you have a, a 20 plus gram um, you know, protein burger, throw in some potato protein to kind of punch up the bioavailability aspect or, or the synergy involved there. This is like an awesome anabolic uh, meal right here. And then occasionally I'll throw in the kale chips instead of the sweet potato fries. So it gives it the crunch, but with less calories, but you also punch up the nutrient density with some vitamin A and C and antioxidants. This next picture, we have oat groats. Essentially, this is just seeded grapes. But what I mean by that is they actually have the seeds and we know the supplement grapeseed extract, right? Well, why not just eat the grape that has the seeds? And unfortunately, we're not going to find that too often uh, they typically tend to be seedless, uh, but in this case, I, I found uh, some that had seeds. Then we have pumpkin seeds, good source of zinc, almonds, raisins, a, a grass shroom powder. Chlorella is optional, but I like to throw that in from time to time. It gives it some more crunch, and then cinnamon. Um, and so one thing I want to talk about with oak roots is they are the least processed. They are basically not processed. That is what we see as far as quick oats, rolled oats, steel cut oats, so steel cut oats are nothing more than oak roots that have been cut. And then rolled oats, whether it be quick or old fashioned, are basically flakes that are either um, the, the amount of flattening de determines whether it's quick or old fashioned. So if, if I were to determine a hierarchy of glycemic index, I would say oak roots would be the top of the list, um, likely having the lowest glycemic index because they're the coarsest and the surface area or the particle size is the largest, which is another aspect of glycemic response that is typically overlooked is the particle size. That's another reason why I choose flourless breads because um, particle size does 
play a role. All right, in this next picture, this is from my amazing client. She made this, uh, this is a basically a Nutritarian pumpkin pie, but I like to call, call it a pumpkin protein pie. And let me explain to you, it actually contains tofu. We know how high in protein tofu is. Um, has awesome nutrient-dense nutrition. You've got the beta carotene from the pumpkin, and then you've got the fat-soluble enhancement with the, uh, with the nuts, in this case, cashews. And um, so it's going to obviously um, boost the, uh, the absorption of the fat-soluble vitamins and antioxidants. In this next picture, you have a matcha banana ice cream. Basically, this is just Japanese matcha powder, frozen bananas, and you use your plant milk of choice. Next, we have Mexican Caesar salad, red beans, and brown basmati rice. So the, the big thing I want to talk about here is the brown basmati rice. So we know the, the typical bodybuilder diet, broccoli, brown rice, right? But could there be more to the brown rice than just carbs and energy? I believe there actually is. There is some interesting research that has looked at a, a mixture of compounds. Um, actually, this is gamma orizinol. It's mainly found in the, in the lipid fraction, so like the, the, the oil, the, the rice bran oil, right? And in regards to potentially have some muscle strength and performance boosting effects, but the point is this, there may be a muscle building compound inside brown rice that we never knew about until we saw this video. Okay, so in the salad, I also have uh, green bell pepper, some uh, chopped up green bell pepper just for some crunch. Lastly, we have red beans and brown rice in this picture with an Asian Caesar salad. And the reason why I wanted to show this picture is because based, this is just a salad kit and I modify it by instead of using the dressing that's in there, I just use my own um, dressing. I, I have this vegan Caesar dressing that I use. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Hopefully you got some good insights and uh, I really enjoy sharing this information. And as always, thanks for watching and tune in next time.